Hey guys, welcome back to my channel for another video. As you can see by the title, this is going to be my weekly review process. Um, I already did a video on my monthly review process. Um, I will link that video below if you guys are interested in seeing it. I would definitely recommend watching that one first because a lot of the steps of my weekly review flow from my monthly review. Now, just to clarify, because I don't know if I did in my monthly review video, my weekly review and my monthly review and daily review, it's basically my way of saying monthly planning or weekly planning or daily planning. Basically, I put review because this is a time that I reviewed the previous month or the previous week or the previous day to make sure I got things accomplished that I was supposed to, that I'm not leaving any tasks behind. So that's what I just call it. But it's basically my monthly planning process. So in essence, it's like a monthly plan with me and a weekly plan with me. So what I do, I have my weekly review written here in my list section. I have my monthly review, yearly, quarterly, all of that. I have a video on all of these review processes where I just tell you what they are. I will link that video below as well if you're just interested in seeing what they are. But I did get a lot of requests to actually see me doing this process um, in action instead of just kind of listing out what it, what it is. So basically for my weekly review, what I do is... I have this journaling card here that has basically all of the steps that I have on my monthly review list. Um, I have added a few more that are not on this list, so eventually I need to remake this card and really redo my list section. But what I do is I keep this card on every Friday because that's when I do my weekly review. Once I get done with this weekly review and I put in my daily pages, I only keep my daily pages in for the current week as you can see. So through Sunday and then this is the last day of the month because I need it for to log my business expenses so about um what i'll do is i'll just stick this here once i put my daily pages in for next week then i'll just slot this in on friday again but basically what i do for my weekly review is i will brain dump if i feel like i need to brain dump um i really don't feel the need to do it i did do a pretty decent brain dump when i did my march monthly review so i don't feel like i need to do that my great task from the previous week because I do my weekly review on a Friday, I still have the weekend ahead of me where I can possibly accomplish some tasks. Now, if there are tasks that I know for a fact, like a lot of these, if I know for a fact I'm not going to get them done over the weekend, then I know that they're going to get migrated to the following week. This right here is my compass card. I don't rewrite this until Sunday night, so it's fine for these to... Actually, I, I rewrite them when I do my weekly review, so I may end up having to move some of this stuff over. Um log business expenses again that's why i keep this last page of the month i've already logged um my business expenses i just got a new vlogging camera so i logged that already and add highlighted items to the monthly index um, i've talked about this before i will when i take notes i will highlight anything that i need to add to my monthly index that is important for me to remember i don't have any of those items this week um my son was sick on Wednesday but it was kind of like a 24-hour bug um, so I didn't feel the need to log it on the monthly index um, transfer appointments from the monthly to the weekly and let me backtrack just a little bit because I didn't pull out my pages these are the pages that I use I have done a video on my pre-planning process which I will also link below these are the pages I use for my pre-planning these are the so much crafting uh, week on four pages and so I pre-plan on these and this is where I really get everything kind of listed down for the week. So what I do is I keep these pages slit. I will pull them out. Um, I do keep these little flags here because that lets me know when a new week starts. So it's easy for me to find the weeks when I need to add um, information. And I just take this off and just stick it on here until I need it again. But what I do is I pull these out. So this is this coming weekend. That I'm filming this video this is the week that we're planning for this is the week of March the 6th through the 12th so the next step that I need to be doing is I need to add um, any appointments from my monthly to my weekly so what I would do here is go to my monthly calendar which looks pretty pretty insane right now and I will start transferring this information to here some of it I already have because if I needed additional information for any of this I've already put it on here but I just double check to make sure everything's here so what I will do is I will go ahead and get this done I will speed up the video so you guys don't have to watch it in real time and I'll be right back with you <laughs> Thank you. 
So now that I have everything that is from my monthly pages um, on to these weekly pages, um, my next step is to list any meals and prep that I need to do for the week. Um, I do my meal planning on Wednesday. Today's Friday. Again, I do my meal planning on Wednesday and I grocery shop on Friday morning. So I've already done my grocery shopping um, and I already have my meal plan down here. Um, I do a grocery haul and meal planning video that goes up every Saturday. So the one for this particular grocery haul will be up tomorrow, which will not be tomorrow when you guys see this video. So I already have my meals listed on the bottom. So what I need to do is if there's any prep that needs to be done, um, down here, like this crunchy fish, it comes straight out of the freezer. So we're going out to eat, um, like this particular night we're having, um, baked salmon and loaded baked potatoes. So on Wednesday, um, actually not on Wednesday, on Thursday morning, I need to thaw that salmon. And that is it. So this week is a pretty easy week as far as meal prep and, and cooking and things like that. Um, the next thing is to review my list and schedule tasks. Um, so the list that I have are my zone cleaning checklist, um, my books for this month and my waiting for list. I don't have anything on my waiting for list. Um, I keep those all again in my list section. Um, I already know the books that I'm reading this month and I'm pretty much just focusing on one so I don't need to put that in there and I, I'm going to come back and do my zone cleaning list last because that is going to depend on a few other things that I need to do first um, transfer info from my school my business and my spiritual binder if necessary um, so I already have from my business binder that is the videos that I'm going to film this week. So I already have those listed out. Um, and I have some already on specific days that I need to film. From my spiritual binder, I'm still working on the same Bible study that I was working on for the past few weeks. So I don't need to get anything out of there. And for my school binder, same thing. I'm still working on the same class that I have been working on um, for a few weeks now. But there is some information that I need to get to see. Um, I have, I'm working on the next assignment for this particular class, so I do need to get some information out of my school binder for that. So this is my school notebook. Um, I will be doing a video on my setup. It's not very fancy or anything. It, I pretty much just take notes. Um, I don't do very much planning or anything in there, um, but I did say I was going to do a video on it soon. So this is like kind of a, a guideline for this particular course. Um, I kind of I'm not have not updated this, so I need to cross out a lot of these things I've already done. Um, I pretty much just have these last two things to do, and so I'm kind of starting here is where I would be starting for the new week. So I need to list those things on my sidebar, um, so I know what schoolwork I'll be focusing on this week. what I have to do for school this week um, it's really not that much it's basically three chapters that I have to read and it's one task that's broken up into multiple parts um, I like to break it down like this is this is how it's actually broken down on the syllabus but I like to break it down this way too because sometimes I might only be able to read one chapter um, sometimes I may only be able to read um, work on like part a1 and a2 for a task or I go from A1 through A3 so I can do the first three questions and then I can do the last three and then I can do some editing on it and submit it. So that's what I have to do for school this week. Um, and like I said, I've already got my videos that I need to film from my business binder, my spiritual binder. I'm still working on the same um, Bible study so I don't need anything from there. Um, another thing that I do is I check the play date calendar um, I already have the information, the play date that my 
baby normally goes to is on Friday mornings, but I have a doctor's appointment and um, we have a teacher appreciation breakfast at my son's school and I'm PTA vice president. So um, I will be there for that. So we won't be doing his morning library story time or play date. Um, and I've already checked. There are no other play dates for this week. Um, I do have a mom's meeting though. Um, the other thing I need to do is pull out my weekly routine list. So this is also in my list section and it's a mess right now because I have been adding and removing things just um, as need be as I'm kind of settled into a weekly routine. So basically these are the things that I do every week on the same day every week. So I do my weekly home blessing every Monday. I do laundry every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. I meal plan every Wednesday, go grocery shopping every Friday. We go to baby story time at the library every Friday, but we won't be going this Friday. I do my weekly review every Friday, so things like that. So I keep this list so that I literally can get everything down. So on a daily basis, I don't have to stop and think about what am I forgetting, like down to my six-year-old's homework and his reading and both of my boys, their baths. Everything will be on this page and ready. So again, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get this information. I'm going to get this information on here and then I'll just fast forward it so you don't have to watch it in real time and then I'll get back with you. everything from my weekly routine list and I have filled it in on the appropriate days um, now I will go to my zone cleaning list and see what zone cleaning I'm gonna do on each day so again my zone cleaning list is in the same list section with all of my routines and so this is the start of the new month so I am zone cleaning in my kitchen so I will go through all of these items that I have in zone one and I will assign them to a certain day. Um, I try to only do maybe two or three of them per day so I'm not getting so overwhelmed with all the stuff that I have to do. Um, and then I also take into account what I already have going on to determine when I can do each, each thing. So again, going to do it, um, fast forward it so you guys don't have to see it in real time. <laughs> goals and determine my roles and my big rocks for the week um, this is something that I am probably gonna wait until Sunday to do this is what I was referring to by this um, my roles and my big rocks um, 
because again, I have until Sunday to complete these. So that will determine if I'm going to end up having to do some of these again next week. Um, same thing with the to-do list here. I know some of these I can just X out and I'm not going to do. Um, some of them I have done already and I just haven't checked them off. And then the rest of them, again, if I don't get them done over the weekend, then I'll start doing that on Sunday. So I kind of do this in two parts, but I really like to get started on Friday um, so I don't have to do the bulk of this over the weekend. So, but just to see what that whole process looks like on my monthly calendar, I keep my goals on the left hand side. So my goals um, were to have a financial planning meeting between me and my fiance, which we actually already did that so I can check it off. Um, we want to have a date night out. So we need to see when we can get it scheduled. Um, I have some YouTube goals that I need to break down per week. And that would be something again that would end up on here um, under my role as content creator. And then these are goals I have for school. Um, these are the two classes that I want to finish this week. So once I finish all these, I will be done with one of the classes and then I can start working on the other one and getting it done this, excuse me, not this week, but this month. Um, so again, these are the goals and that's what kind of determines these big rocks. These big rocks, I consider these my weekly goals. Um, then the next thing um, is to check the monthly tasks and project list and add any tasks for this week. So this is my monthly project pay, or my projects for this month. These are my tasks for this month. Um, I would go through here and see pretty much the same way I do this. Any um, tasks that I have here that I think I can get done this week, I'll add it on here. Again, how many of these I can get done is going to depend on how many of these I get done over the weekend, which I think I am gonna get a good bit done. So I'm gonna have to hold off on that part as well until Sunday. Um, and the last thing that I do is I update my family calendar, which I actually just updated because it's the beginning of the month. And when we sat down and we had our financial planning meeting, uh, my fiance and I, I updated that whole family calendar. So basically my family calendar that hangs on the wall looks exactly like this. Again, if you saw my monthly review process uh, video, then you will see when I did this and then when I did the same thing on my monthly calendar. So that is it for my weekly planning process. Um, if you guys are my weekly review process, rather, um, if you guys have any questions about anything at all, definitely leave them down below in the uh, comment section. Um, I knew I kind of flew through this pretty quickly and there are a few steps that you don't actually see me doing because I can't really do them until Sunday. So if you have any questions, want to see anything in detail, definitely let me know. Again, if you have not checked out my monthly review video, definitely go check that out because again, a lot of this makes sense if you know what I did to kind of set my month up. And I also will have a video on my daily review process. That video will be coming immediately after this one. Um, as far as my, my uploading schedule, not the actual day right after. Um, I also, I will be doing this week, I will be doing my quarterly review. And I also will be filming it. So this is a little sneak peek of the videos that will be coming soon. So my quarterly review process, that video will be up um, at some point this month as well. Um, so again, definitely subscribe to the channel if you have not already. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one.